Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be looking at Twin Motion 2019.5, the update that has been released by the guys at Epic. And yes, it comes with about two awesome stuff. The first thing that you would know from what you can see on the screen is it now has a SketchUp direct link that you can now move your files directly from SketchUp into Twinmotion without exporting the file or saving it as a different object or bringing it in. Regardless, before this time, it was very, very easy for you to actually bring in your models from SketchUp into Twinmotion and also update it. I think we covered a video about that. I'm going to put the link in the description. But then afterwards, there is also something else that they have now. They now have a new high quality grass pack. Now with this new high quality grass pack, there is variations of grasses and foliages that you can have right so if you're into you know landscaping of course this is going to be a whole lot of smile on your face but then a whole lot of people are asking how do you get the new sketchup extension and how can you go ahead and work with it so it's pretty pretty easy i'm going to put the link in the description so in case you want to get this it's going to be easy so what you need to do is you need to come to unrealengine.com forward slash e n u s forward slash twin motion don't bother about that i'm putting that in the description so you guys can find it so once you come through what you can do is you can come over here select or what platform you want to work with and of course you can go ahead and hit download you can also see that it supports from SketchUp 2017 all the way to 2019. So let's put these guys to test and see what's gonna happen with this. Now, one of the other things that you need to know is your Twinmotion needs to be updated. So if you don't have the updated version of Twinmotion, of course this might not work. Twinmotion is free, which simply means that all you have to do is just hop on the launcher and simply hit update. And of course you're going to have that and you can use that for anything that you want. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what it looks like. So first things first, I have SketchUp open here and the SketchUp which I have here is a very default one, which is uh, SketchUp Pro 2019. And I've gone ahead to also install the plugin that comes with Twinmotion. So once you download the plugin, it's free, so you can just simply install it. Now we are in the 3D warehouse. This is actually an amazing place you can get incredible resources that you can use for anything that you want. All right, I love this bike guy. I think we're gonna make use of him later. And also, uh, I love this one here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and select any of this object or any of these models that I want. Then I'm gonna click on download. If I wanna load this up into our SketchUp, of course, I want this to be inside our SketchUp and it's just going to go ahead and download this directly into our scene. And with this directly in our scene, what we can do is just go ahead and position it where we want it to be. Next off, I'm just going to go ahead and orbit around using the uh, middle mouse button. All right. So let's just orbit around and make sure everything is in place. Really looks cool. I like it so much. So let's put this to test. So what we can do now is if we simply move around. All right. So if we simply move around this. You can see it comes in with textures that we already would like to have and you can see it comes with glasses already. All these textures are really cool. Let's just simply click on this button and say see in Twinmotion. This is similar to what you can find with Revit and also Akikad. Now if you want to understand how things are working, you can also go ahead and click on the settings, on the synchronizing settings and here you can tell Twinmotion to go ahead and fix the UV. By default this is not selected, I just uh, kind of selected it. So you can go ahead and tell uh, Twinmotion to fix the UV, you can also tell them to optimize the model. So depending on what you have on the model, so if you have some unused elements, I think Twinmotion would go ahead and actually fix that properly for you. So with this set, all you have to do is just simply click on C in Twinmotion. And so with this here, we don't want to add this to an existing project. So we're just going to click on new project and say, okay. So now that we've just accepted this to come inside Twinmotion, you can see that the whole thing that we have is here. You can see all of those textures, all of those things that we had from uh, SketchUp. You can see them all here. All right. This is quite interesting and nice and it's going to simplify the process. Not like it was really, really hard for you to work with SketchUp before, but it's just going to make the process a little bit more easier, especially for those who would like to, you know, get a bridge and work seamlessly. Of course, you can you can go ahead and play with all those. Also, other things that you would notice is the materials also comes with it. So materials, you can see, we can go ahead and make these ones reflective and we can change the materials as much as we want. And I guess as well, once we make an update, so let's just go ahead and try that real quick. So if we come through, let's see if an update would work because the other time when we covered something with uh, SketchUp, I kind of showed you guys how you can quickly update your scene 
or your SketchUp models directly in Twinmotion without actually reloading the file over and over again. So with this, I'm just going to go ahead and create something like this, similar to what we did the last time. And I'm just going to push this right down. All right. So with this there, let's just go ahead and push this down. Okay. I will just simply click on C in Twinmotion and let's see if it's going to fix this or if it's just going to give us some extra errors. So C in Twinmotion and boom, we have it directly here in Twinmotion. So this is definitely going to save you guys a whole lot of time, right? It's going to save you a lot of time for things that you create and also other things that you want to play with that exist directly in SketchUp. I mean, things you want to bring into Twinmotion. So that's about it for importing things directly into Twinmotion. Now let's take a look at the grasses. So we already know that Twinmotion has a whole lot of awesome, awesome stuff that are real time that works seamlessly. I mean, contrary to other apps where you have to, you know, second guess what you're working with, Twinmotion kind of makes it a little bit easier for you to just simply get in there, do your, do your work and, you know, get up to speed. So let's take a look at the grasses. So for the grasses, we're just going to go over to the vegetation. Then we're going to click on grass and you can see how much grasses these guys have gone ahead to implement. Uh, 25 they say and yes, it looks like that. So these grasses are totally, totally different. So the variations of the grasses and the way the brush actually paints them is totally different. So from the long grasses to the long ones to the short grasses, all of them, they do have a very different way that they are being applied on the surface. So for you to paint this, you will need to actually come over here where we have nature, go over to vegetation and you can see that the long grass one is now the default grass that exists. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop these down to about two. So we have something very light that we can work with. And then you can see the reflection happening there. Two motion is so awesome, guys. All right. So we can go ahead and, you know, we can start painting this one. Let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what it looks like in a close up. Okay, this looks interesting. Let's try out something else. So I'm just going to bring these weeds and I'm just going to drop them there. And let's say I will also bring, okay, okay. Tall grasses look good. Uh, let's find something else. Okay, the clovers also look good. Let's find something else. Something very interesting. The lawn grasses. Let's not use the lawn grasses now. Let's find, okay, let's try the dry once okay so we have this directly here and we can also paint and let's see what the textures look like let me get in there okay you can see how the textures look let's try out these other ones okay these ones also look really good i mean when you get when you have a close-up you can see how cool they are and let's try out these other ones as well oh this is this is interesting actually okay Okay, this is this is quite interesting. So like you want to do things that has to do with lake sides and all that. Of course you can you can go ahead and do that. So the tall grasses is really nice because we can simulate a whole lot of bushes with this. All right? So we can you can do a whole lot of simulation by just simply using this. All right. So we have this now and you can see how cool these grasses are and you can use them for whatever thing that you want. And for those who are asking if you can mix several things together and paint, of course, this is a good time to actually answer that. Yes, you can go ahead and mix several things together and actually paint with them, right? So you can mix several brushes. So let's just go ahead and try that. Let's pick up all of these things and let's take a look. Yeah, you can go ahead and mix all of them up and you can paint with them at once. Now, this is when you are just going ninja mode on these things and you don't really care so much about uh, some stuff. Maybe you just, want to, you just want to populate that section. You don't really want to spend so much time thinking about it. Yes, of course, you can go ahead and try things like this. But if you want to put things in layers, of course, you can also go ahead and, you know, think about how you can make these things cool when you put them in layers. And probably that might help you and help your workflow. And yeah, so this is going to be about it. I would like to know what you guys think about these in the comment section. If you like this new update and you maybe enjoyed or you learned something from this tutorial, of course, go ahead and give a like. And if you're new to this channel, it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And if you're new to Twinmotion, there is a whole lot of things that you would like to learn that exist in a playlist that has over 40 videos that covers 
everything that has to do with twin motion so you can go ahead and check that out if you have questions about twin motion also go ahead and check out the frequently asked questions playlist where you can find a whole lot of answers to things that you've asked or maybe things that you're willing to understand how they work and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace